Hi, this is Mr. Max. So what I'm doing here today is a few questions on simplifying indices. So here you have a typical question, and this one here is rather an equation, and you're supposed to find k in terms of n. All right. So the first thing is you should always try to see where the bases are not prime numbers like 9 or 81. It's best if you can express them in in index form, prime factors, all right? So uh, 81 becomes 3 to the power 4, and 9, for example, becomes 3 squared. And then you distribute that 2 over and also that 4 by multiplying the indices, all right? So that should clearly add up to 3 raised to this n plus 2 stuff here, times 3 raised to 2n plus 2, all over 3 raised to the power of 2n. You may not cancel because of those ones on top contain some expressions. Maybe you should simplify those by adding them. Okay, when the bases are the same and you multiply indices, you add them. So um, this is cleaning up nicely then to 3n plus 4 on top and all over 3 raised to the power 2n. And now you can actually realize when you're dividing, you subtract those indices from each other. All right, and I left with n plus 4 is equal to k because now we can actually drop the bases therefore k is equal to n plus 4. So the last one here for this last part of this question says now you are given that the value of n is equal to negative 2 so you simply are going to use that k equals to n plus 4 substitute negative 2 for n and obviously that gives you the value of k which is 2. So we have two more here in this particular slide you're supposed to simplify each of them all right very important statement here uh, the base is not a prime number like for example 1 over 9 cubed or 36 here or 81 or 45 or that 4 best perhaps did you write them uh, as prime factors or express them as a product of its prime factor so this obviously will multiply the indices here and 9 well, you check, check that 1 over becomes 9, 2 raised to a negative, all right? So, I clean that up and multiply out, but then mine I'm going to write in prime factor form. So, that's 3 squared. We're multiplying that 2 times 6 for the indices, and you have 3 raised to the power of negative 6 times 3 raised to the power of 12. Now, we're multiplying, so you're going to add those indices. That gives you 3 to the 6 power, which is nothing but 729. Right, so this one here again, 2 squared is 4, 36 is 2 squared times 3 squared, and 45 is 3 squared times 5, and 81 is 3 raised to the power of 4. So I'm going to then multiply out where I can, and this power of minus n minus 1 is for this 2 as well as that 3 there. So that's what I did there. All right, same applies with that minus n plus 1 is for the 3 square as well as for the 5. Get the 2s nicely together, all right, with after multiplying, and also I put the 3s together here, and then the 5s there. So the stuff on top then cleans nicely because I got to add the indices when I multiply, all right, and then the same what I do here with the 3, I add the indices, and also with the 5, I add the indices. So all in all, they should clear nicely to 2 squared times 3 raised to that business there over 3 to the same business times 5 to the power of 0. Okay, so those can actually cancel, leaving you with 2 squared over 1 or 4 as a final answer. Remember, 5 raised to the power of 0, anything raised to the 0 power except 0 is equal to 1. Right, so we have another one here 25 n minus 2 times 5 to the negative 1 power times 27 to the n plus 1 power times over 75 to the n minus 2 power times 9 to the n plus 2 power. Again, I write those bases as prime factors, all right, and then I distribute, so I make sure I have my 5s together and so on, um, and when you multiply out the indices here, you got to add them. All right, and you do the same for the three. Can you see that? Uh, well, obviously, I've done that on the next slide where I have three raised to the n minus two plus two to the n plus four. Okay, and on top there, obviously, the two n minus four minus one 
it leads nicely to n minus 5. All right, so once I'm done with that, the bottom power of 3 is now 3 raised to the power of 3n plus 2. You can't do any cancelling, so it's best perhaps if I write them with divisions and multiplication like this. So I know that that 3 raised to the 3n plus 3 should be divided by that, and 5 to the 2n minus 5 should be divided by that. And now when you are dividing and the bases are the same, the same applies here, you go ahead and subtract the indices from each other. So once you subtract the indices, you're going to get 3 raised to the power of 1 times, well, I had to first remove the brackets here so that you can see I've got a minus times a negative 4 becomes a positive 4. So I've got 3 to the power of 1 times 5 raised to the power of negative 1, which is basically the same as 3 over 5.